guys what it's like to live at Foothill at UC Berkeley. It's Friday of finals week, which means it's officially the last day that I'm gonna be a freshman here. So I just wanted to make this video to kind of give um, incoming freshmen advice on choosing their dorms or just anyone who's curious in general what the dorm and student life is at UC Berkeley. Also, I kind of wanted to make this video a little bit earlier. Uh, however, I didn't have a lot of time throughout the semester, but now that I'm done with all my finals and I have nothing to do, I am gonna jump right into it. So right off the bat, the worst thing about living in Foothill is that the dorm is far from everything. So if you guys didn't know, UC Berkeley is kind of built uh, on a slope. Foothill dorms is on the top of that slope. So if you guys want to go back for classes and you live in Foothill, you're gonna have to have an uphill walk. But if you're a person who doesn't like to walk or you don't like walking uphill for a uh, far distance, then I would not recommend Foothill. But if you're like me and you don't mind taking a 10-15 walk then I feel like Foothill will be okay for you. Also Foothill's really close to the buses. It's bus 52 UC campus. If you're tired you can always take the bus. So right now I'm going to time myself to see how long it takes for me to walk from Foothill to the MLK Student Union Center. This is the path that I typically take down to the MLK Student Union Center. As you can see, we are passing a lot of uh, different lecture halls. Uh, this one in particular uh, is Miller Hall. I had a class called Data 8. Uh, it's a class that teaches you uh, introductory coding. All right, so I arrived at MLK. It took 12 minutes. So it's a 12 minute walk from Foothill to MLK, but I'm finally here. So I'm here with my friend Amanda. She's teaching me how to edit videos because I have zero experience and she already makes <laughs> a lot of uh, videos. No, no. She actually inspired me to make some of these videos, so it's I good. Know. So as you can see, I'm editing my videos. I have no idea how to do it. Right, right beside me, she's editing her videos too. So I'm on my way back to Foothill right now and I know what you're thinking. Uh, Foothill's so far, why don't I just get a bike or a skateboard so I could get around faster? And the thing is, I did. Someone stole my bike. Uh, here's the wheel. Look at it. Someone cut the lock. Bike theft is a serious problem at Berkeley. You lock your bike, kids. So Foothill is either a collection of mini suites or halls. I live in a mini suite, which means I share a suite with six other guys. We share uh, one bathroom. A bathroom has two toilets, uh, two showers, four sinks. And my suite is all males, but a lot of halls are co ed. And halls are obviously bigger, so they have more restrooms. Uh, so this is what the hall looks like. It's really messy right now because everyone is packing. There is uh, some sofas and a table. We put our fridge and microwave outside. Going down the hall, these, uh, this is my room. Uh, but this is my wall decoration. So I have my US map and my world map. My hat collection some jerseys, and my cubicle working space. So the biggest pro I think about living in Foothill is that it's very quiet. If you're anything like me and you want a good night's sleep, uh, you're definitely gonna get one here. Foothill's very isolated uh, from a lot of the other areas, which means that not only is it quiet, it's also very safe. Nothing bad really happens uh, around the north side. Add on to that, Foothill's also known for being socially dead. That comes with the isolation. So if you're very social, you wanna, I don't know, live it up every night. I would not choose Foothill, but if you're like a sane person, you know, you come to your dorm to sleep, a hill is the choice for you. absolutely abysmal it is terrible it is the worst laundry room of all the dorm complexes and the reason why is because half the machines are always out of order the dryers like sometimes they don't dry the machine doesn't take your cal one card sometimes like there's always some sort of dysfunction so there's like the situation where all the laundry machine numbers got mixed up there's like this little area where you swipe your 
your card and it charges your account and you're supposed to put the number of the laundry machine in it. There was this one incident where all the numbers got swapped. Laundry machine A was actually laundry machine B. So if you typed in laundry machine A and you put your clothes in laundry machine A, laundry machine B would start running or something. So that was absolutely a nightmare. Also, there's a situation like sometimes the dryers don't even dry. Yesterday, I put my clothes in the dryer. I had three cycles running and I took it out and it was wet. Stuff like this happens all the time. The funniest thing that happened was that some girl's clothes was in the dryer and then the dryer caught on fire and then the fire department had to come fix it all and that girl never saw her clothes ever again. And there's always like a limited amount of machines and a terrible amount of people who want to do laundry at all times for some reason. So you have to wait in line for one machine to clear up and then you put your clothes in the machine and it doesn't even and it catches on fire or something like this happened at Foothill all the time. Uh, I had terrible experience with the Foothill laundry machines. If you guys are gonna live in Foothill and you have a better experience, well, congratulations, but my experience was terrible. I uh, would not recommend washing your clothes ever. You just have, like hand, it's, it's like easier to hand wash your clothes. Let's take a tour of Foothill Dining Hall. Okay, so right now we're going to uh, go inside Foothill Dining. Um, yeah, let's see what they have today. the food then you can always make yourself a sandwich and they always have this salad bar um uh condiments and stuff it's pretty good also they always have pizza so if you don't like the other stuff that they serve you can always have pizza today they have lasagna but uh, usually they have pasta uh, so that's that's cool if we walk over here they have chicken chicken tenders yeah chicken tenders also they always have uh, two two soups so they have like, they have chili today. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And they have broccoli cheddar soup. That looks good too. Here they have the main course today. I think they have chicken. So this is like what a normal day looks like. Yeah. Hey, so this is what a average plate of food at the hill looks like. Uh, and uh, we're watching game two of the Western Conference Finals. I'm here with my boy Randy. Uh, he's watching with me. He's mad because they gave him a small piece of chicken. And he's a big boy, so he wants only big pieces. That's it, uh, I'm gonna watch the finals right now, so catch you guys later. Hey, so uh, I'm here with my friend Arnav, and what's up guys? Right now we're eating lunch at Foothill, so this is what a typical lunch looks like. That's pizza, like some rice and some pork. What do you want? So pilaf is like the most famous dish here at Foothill Dining. It's absolutely delicious. Show, show, wait, show him what, what else you're eating. I'm eating this vegetable and I'm eating a corn dog food, which is very, very good quality. Incredible. So this is Cub Market. It's the little store within Foothill Dining Hall. It's cool because you can use your flex dollars here. There's drinks, ice cream, uh, microwavable goods, other snacks, etc. Another good thing about Foothill uh, is that Hall Association throws a lot of events. So within the last month of this semester, they like were giving out free bagels, free pizza, free food, free boba, super often, and you can just get like a lot of free food. Um, so that's good. They also throw other events. Uh, Avengers Endgame just uh, came out, so they were giving out free tickets to the student, uh, Foothill students, so that was awesome. So Foothill Hall Association, I think, throws the most events out of all the other dorms. Foothill, I feel like, is suited for um, kids who are uh, EECs, uh, computer science, engineering, uh, in the College of Chemistry, and that's just because it's close to those classes. If so, if you're like planning on doing those classes or majoring in those uh, 
subjects, I Foothill is a good choice just because it's a close walk to your classes. If not, like it's cool too, you can live here, but just expect that you'll be walking quite a distance to your classes. Hey guys, uh, I'm here with my friends Randy and Danji, and they are going to share their opinions about Foothill. So uh, what's like one thing that you um, like about Foothill and one thing that you don't like? Like a pro and a con. Okay, I think the best thing about Foothill is that you get all the environment here and you can li literally meet raccoon and squirrel every night so that's really a cool thing to do. But the worst thing about Foothill is that it's sometimes socially dead, you know, because it's close to Soda and Soda is where the computer science students are so you can imagine the situation here. For me, I chose, I put Foothill as my first choice. Like, I'm a college, college camp, so if you're a college camp, just choose Foothill, it's like right beside you. But the bad thing is that all the like foods are in the south side, so... True, you have to commute a lot of the time to get good food. Alright, hey, uh, so today is the last day that uh, we're gonna be in Berkeley, so we decided to take a little trip to enjoy the view in the background. Oh! Kinda lit, dude. I'm here with uh, my, my guy Randy, uh, right here, and my guy Nick. Uh, yeah. They're Taiwanese Student Association uh, interns. Be close. <laughs> Not. Except for Randy. <laughs> so, you know, it's the end of the semester, so like, how, how was you guys' freshman year? What do you guys think? It was great. It was great, but I feel like so ready to go. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like my depression just doubled, like, in the last week. I mean, we got, right. we got <laughs> Boba, so yeah. we don't need to. Yeah, just, yeah no need to worry, you know. This it's just like really doesn't, really doesn't matter. Yeah, this view is actually spectacular. I'm gonna give you guys a different view. This is a view of the Bay Area. So there's San Francisco uh, and Oakland, and you can see the dark spot is the the water, uh, the actual water. Uh, I don't know, you guys definitely can't see it, but the Campanile or the Berkeley Clock Towers over there, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff, like the Golden Gate Bridge, the Bay Bridge. Uh, it's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys later. Right now I'm in a gig car share. I have all my stuff uh, that I need to put in my new apartment in the back. And so I'm gonna drive to my new apartment, store all my stuff, and then I'm gonna take my flight uh, back to Long Beach. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.